Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to discuss yet another important and a very interesting problem from integration, right? And in this uh, class uh, we will solve this uh, nice integral which is from minus infinity to infinity and the integrand is 1 over uh, 1 plus x raised to 6, right? So here I uh, will uh, compute this integral uh, with the help of uh, beta function and gamma function, right? So let us start. So here uh, let us first call this integral as i, right? Now see, uh, to evaluate this integral, uh, again uh, we'll make use of the method of substitution, right? So here I uh, will uh, take the substitution uh, that is uh, y is equal to x raised to 6 right so when y is equal to x raised to 6 then x is equal to y raised to 1 over 6 so now uh, let us differentiate uh, y with respect to x so we have dy over dx is equal to uh, 6x uh, raised to 5 right so the derivative of x raised to 6 is 6 times x raised to 5 so we can now write 6 and here uh, x can be replaced by y raised to 1 over 6 and here uh, the power is 5, right? So we have dy over dx is equal to 6 times y raised to 5 over 6. So dy is now equal to uh, 6y raised to 5 by 6. Here we have dx and now dx can be written as uh, dy over uh, 6y raised to 5 over 6, right? So now we can uh, write dx is equal to 1 over 6 and we can take y raised to 5 by 6 to the numerator. So we have minus 5 over 6 and here we have dy, right? So now we have dx is equal to 1 over 6 times y raised to minus 5 by 6 dy. Okay, so now see here uh, we have the limits from minus infinity to infinity, right? So what we can uh, do here, uh, we can uh, apply an important property of definite integrals. Now see, uh, we know that uh, the property that is minus a to a f of x dx is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to a f of x uh, dx, right? So whenever we have the limits uh, that is uh, minus a to a, then uh, we have uh, this property that is uh, 2 times the integral 0 to a f of x dx uh, provided that f of x is an even function, right? So we uh, must have this uh, integrand that is f of x uh, should be an even function, right? So by even function we mean that f of minus x should be equal to f of x. So here our integrand uh, is uh, uh, say f of x 1 over 1 plus x raised to 6 so f of minus x gives us 1 over 1 plus minus x raised to 6 so here uh, the power is even so we have 1 plus x raised to 6 right so that is equal to f of x so the integrand 1 over 1 plus x raised to 6 is even function so we can uh, write this integral uh, i as uh, two times uh, applying this property because here we have the limits minus a to a and here we have minus infinity to infinity right so we can now write two times zero to infinity and we have dx over uh, one plus x raised to six right okay so now uh, we have uh, applied the substitution and we have got the expression for dx. Now let us change the limits. So when x is equal to uh, 0, 
then uh, y is also equal to 0 because y is x raised to 6 and when x is infinite then y is uh, also infinite right so now uh, this integral uh, can be expressed in terms of y so we can now write i is equal to 2 times 0 to infinity uh, for dx we can now write 1 over 6 uh, y raised to minus 5 over 6 dy and in the denominator we have 1 plus y right so now we can write this integral i as uh, taking 1 over 6 outside the integral we have 2 over 6 then we have 0 to infinity y raised to minus 5 by 6 dy uh, divided by 1 plus y this is 2 3 is a 6 so we have 1 over 3 and here we have 0 to infinity y raised to minus 5 by 6 1 plus y and dy right so now we have this integral and here uh, at this step uh, we'll make use of the definition of beta function right so the beta function is defined as beta m n is given by this integral that is 0 to infinity uh, x raised to uh, say m minus 1 divided by 1 plus x raised to m plus n and here we have dx and m and n are greater than 0 right so now we have to convert this integral uh, into this one right so here the variable is y here the variable uh, is x and uh, uh, the variable is not going to make any uh, difference here because this is the dummy variable so we can now write see here we have y raised to minus 5 by 6 and here we have x raised to m minus 1 so if we compare m minus 1 with minus 5 by 6 then we have m minus 1 uh, we can write it like this m minus 1 is equal to minus 5 by 6 and m plus n is equal to uh, 1 right because here we have 1 plus y raised to 1 so we have m plus n is equal to 1 so we have uh, these two equations to get the value of m and n so we can also uh, make a guess here to get the value of m and n but here uh, we can uh, compare the, uh, both these integrals in terms of power right so m minus 1 is equal to minus 5 by 6 so m is equal to minus 5 by 6 plus 1 so this is 1 over 6 right and taking 1 over 6 in this equation we have 1 over 6 plus n is equal to 1 so n is 1 minus 1 over 6 that is 5 over 6 right so now this integral i can be written as 1 over 3 0 to infinity we have y raised to minus 5 by 6 uh, which can be uh, written as 1 over 6 minus 1 right because m is uh, equal to 1 over 6 and here we have 1 plus y raised to uh, 1 so 1 can be written as 1 over 6 plus uh, 5 over 6 because the sum of uh, 1 over 6 plus 5 over 6 is 1 right so now uh, this integral can be written like this and this integral is exactly of this form right so m is 1 over 6 n is 5 over 6 so now i is equal to 1 over 3 beta of m n right and m is 1 over 6 and n is uh, 5 over 6 right so now we have to find the value of beta of 1 over 6 uh, comma 5 over 6 so now we know uh, the relation between beta function and the gamma function so beta m n is given by gamma of m then we have gamma of n divided by uh, gamma of m plus n right so m is 1 over 6 n is 5 over 6 so beta 
uh, 1 over 6 5 over 6 can be written as gamma of 1 over 6 gamma of 5 over 6 and here we have gamma of 1 over 6 plus 5 over 6 right so here uh, we have uh, in the denominate uh, numerator gamma of 1 over 6 gamma of 5 over 6 so to get the value of this expression I will again make use of one important relation right and the relation is uh, gamma of n uh, times gamma of 1 minus n is given by pi over uh, sine of n pi right so this is also a very important result right so if we take n is equal to uh, 1 over 6 then uh, this expression uh, it goes like this gamma of 1 over 6 gamma of 1 minus 1 over 6 right so 1 minus 1 over 6 is 5 over 6 so here we have 5 over 6 so we have pi divided by sine of n pi n is 1 over 6 so we have pi over 6 so this is pi sine pi by 6 is sine 30 degrees that is half that is 2 pi right so now uh, beta of 1 over 6 comma 5 over 6 is equal to uh, 2 pi divided by uh, here we have 1 over 6 plus 5 over 6 that is equal to 1 so gamma of 1 is equal to 1 right so we have 2 pi over 1 that is equal to 2 pi right so now taking this value in this expression i is equal to 1 over 3 uh, times 2 pi right so, so that is equal to 2 pi over 3 so viewers the value of this integral is equal to uh, 2 pi over 3